Assalamualaikum and good evening. Uh, today our group three uh, will present a uh, topic of assignment single sideband food carrier. Uh, this uh, our uh, this my teammate, which is uh, Aida Nadira, Saitu Nazira, and also uh, Nurul Shafika. For the introduction, uh, single sideband food carrier is a, is a one of subtopic in analog modulation. So what is analog modulation is referred to the process of transferring an analog baseband low frequency signal, like an audio of a TV signal over a high frequency signal, such as a radio frequency band. And for what the sing and what is single sideband full carrier? Uh, the carrier is transmit at full power and only one sideband is transmit. On one sideband is totally removed and the carrier voltage is reduced to approximately 10% of its unmodulated amplitude. Only has uh, it only has one sideband, the peak change is enveloped is only half of double sideband full carrier. And for the demulated wave has only half the amplitude of the SB. And we continue for the objective to the side of Nazira. So for the objective uh, of this assignment, this assignment include the MATLAB code illustration specifying the characteristic of single sideband full carrier FSBFC to analyze the equation generated from the waveform in the MATLAB code. Uh, thus, by using MATLAB, students uh, would try to develop the GUI that can manipulate the input to produce the output and the mathematical equation of this topic. Next, we go to the coding. Okay, so the first thing that we need, uh, uh, the first thing during the, uh, we want to program the coding, we need to define the parameter set. And after we define the parameter, we need to uh, program the, or we put the formula, which is the, which is the formula for the best band signal, m equal to am times cos bracket 2 times pi times fm times c, which is, this is our formula for cos, uh, best band for cos signal. Uh, and uh, M2 is actually the formula for the uh, best band signal, but in a sign. And then we go to the carry signal, which is C equal to AC times cos, bracket 2 times 5 times FC times C. And then for the C2, it's actually the same thing. Uh, it's also the formula for the carrier signal, but we made it in a C sign uh, wave, which is bracket uh, AC time sign bracket 2 times pi times fc times c. And then we go to the formula for the single sideband LSB or USB. Uh, and then we uh, we take C equal to AM divided by 2 times cos bracket 2 times pi times fc minus fm divided by c. Uh, this is a formula for the lower sideband. And then for the upper sideband formula, uh, which is E2 equal to AM uh, divided by 2 times cos uh, bracket 2 times pi times bracket FC plus FM times C. Uh, so this is the formula for the upper side band. In order to, uh, we need to get the full carry signal, we need to uh, add both of the formula, which is we need to add lower side band and upper side band. So that's all for the body. So, uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Aida Nadira binti Abdul Harun. I, I am EB19153. So, my part is for the block diagram. So, you go to the simulation. Uh, this is the simulation of the uh, of the coding, this is for the SSK and this is for the SSBFC. So, this is the coding that has been uh, uh, split earlier, so when I'm when I run, this is and this is for the uh, block diagram. 
So uh, we will use the cost signal, message cost signal, message uh, carry cost signal. So we will uh, add together into to product. This is in sign. This is in sign. Add together to product, and this is add. This is when these two is adding together, it will produce the SSV modulation, which is just uh, and then um, this is for the uh, when carrier signal is added together with SSB LSB, it will produce the SSB FC signal. So this is the SSP FC signal. So when we run, so this is the signal produced. And next we will go to the circuit. So this is the circuit that is has been done. So the circuit is, uh, we use the carrier signal as the input and we use SMS signal here. Uh, we have a resistor, go to, to resistor two and this circuit will flow through the uh, R4 and uh, it will go combined with the carrier signal and the carrier signal will combine with the LSB and it will put, uh, go to here and it will, uh, here is, it will produce the message signal and uh, here you will form the SSB. Uh, here you will form the SSB FC signal. So we can see here is the SSB FC signal. So here is SSB LSB signal, which is um, after the carrier signal, and this is the message signal, and this is the carrier signal. When carrier signal is added together with LSB signal, it will produce the SSB FC signal. Okay. So next, uh, the, the result. And next, the result. And next, my uh, friend, Nourish Africa, will start presenting. Uh, for the conclusion is from the assignment, we can conclude that we are successfully perform the simulation by understanding the objective of the assignment, which is to use and apply modern computational technique when using NetLab, Proteus and Matisim to measure the parameters for analog communication system. Next, uh, the recommendation of future assessment is uh, to improve the design of block diagram circuit, only two sine wave is needed to produce the modulation and for the single sideband modulation. Only one sideband is needed to produce the SSB FC. As, as, the, as for the circuit diagram, the output waveform is the same as the coding and the block diagram. But as the state here, the amplitude and frequency used to the circuit diagram are not the same as the coding. If we see the input to the same of the coding, so diagram and circuit, the voltage and frequency should be high as possible. It's about, um, uh, it's about